coach told me I can never miss a Monday. Hey, hey, look, it's never miss a Monday. Hey, hey, look, it's never miss a Monday. Hey, hey, look, it's never miss a Monday. Coach told me I can never miss a Monday. Hey, hey, look, it's never miss a Monday. Hey, hey, look, it's never miss a Monday. Wine on Saturday, wine on Sunday. But coach told me I can never miss a Monday. Good evening. Welcome to the Monday Night Live Real Estate Call-In Show with Coach Mike. I'm your host, Rick Davis. If you don't follow me on social media, I invite you to do so at Prime Real Estate Rick. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in residential or commercial real estate anywhere in the great state of Texas, but especially here in our lovely city of Houston, you can reach me directly on Instagram at Prime Real Estate Rick. As always, it's an honor and a pleasure to be here hosting Monday Night Live with you and everyone in the audience this evening. I want to invite everyone that's checking us out live on YouTube or Facebook to get involved in tonight's show. Get into that comment section and you can leave myself or Coach Mike a relevant real estate question. And you never know, our super producer, Jay Joseph, may very well choose your question to be answered on tonight's show. So I want to thank everybody for tuning in. And we have a really exciting show planned for you all. And without any further ado, I'd like to introduce my co-host. He is not only a highly successful real estate broker, he is also the co-founder of Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm. I want to thank him as we do every Monday on Monday Night Live for sitting in with us. And I'd like to introduce to everyone, CEO Coach Mike, a.k.a. Mr. Michael G. Davis. What's going on? What's going on, Prime Real Estate, Rick? It's another Monday night. Super excited to be here, baby. What's happening? Hey, man, look, had so much going on last week. Was real this week, man. This weekend was hot and heavy in the real estate sphere here in the city of Houston. So just like I ask you every week when we start Monday Night Live, what's been going on in the world of Mr. Michael G. Davis and everyone over at Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm? No, man, you hit the nail right on the head, brother. Real just week, man. It was on and popping last week, brother. It was a yes, week filling event. Man, we was down at City Hall, man. We was talking to the mayor, getting a proclamation for the great work that the Houston Black Real Estate Association is doing. Uh, on Wednesday, we, we released our success, uh, State of Housing in Black America, our SHIBA report. We had the HAR, the Houston Association of Realtors Board Chair, uh, was there along with the Texas uh, Association of Real Estate Brokers, state president was here. They released a report uh, and gave some uh, amazing information to the marketplace. We had a room full of people. Uh, and then we did a mixer with all of the affiliate groups uh, that are connected to the Houston Association of Realtors. We had the Hispanic uh, Affinity Group, the National Association of Real Estate Professionals. We had the Asian American Real Estate Association. We had the Veteran, uh, Veteran Affairs Real Estate uh, uh, Professionals. I mean, we had everybody in the building, the Southeast Asian. We had the uh, Real Estate Alliance, the LGBTQ Real Estate Alliance. So we was all there mingling, networking, talking about our different issues and challenges and, and mainly talking about collaborating and connecting. Uh, and then we finished it up, man. We finished it up with Community Wealth Building Day. Uh, we brought hundreds of people into the North Main Church of God in Christ where they were able to engage in workshops. They were able to learn about what to do with Big Mama's house, Black men do real estate. Uh, they was able to learn uh, learn about, you know, what the ABCs of home buying, able to meet lenders, able to have one on ones with attorneys. I mean, it was just off the chain last Saturday. So if you missed it, you weren't able to take part of it, man. You missed a beauty. Uh, but and be on the lookout for the next opportunity to engage at such a high level in this real estate space, man. It was a, it was so amazing, Rick. You know, the great thing about Realtors Week, and this was something that um, myself and Mr. Larry Brooks talked about last week on the Prime Real Estate Network pod is that the great thing about Realtors Week is it's a celebration of how far we've come in the real estate sphere, not only here in the city of Houston, but nationwide. And it's a celebration of how far we've come and how we've been able to promote ourselves, promote our businesses, better serve our communities. Because when it comes to that real estate space, someone like yourself who served for so long, you truly understand how we pretty much walk on the back of giants and how every previous generation just opens up more and more doors for that next generation to not only be professionals in the real estate sphere, but also create that generational wealth 
that we talk about so much on Monday Night Live. That is a great word, Rick. And we definitely got to give shout outs to those that came before, man. We are celebrating 56 years of the Come on, fair, housing, uh, yeah. fair housing bill passing. Um, you know, April is fair housing month. So, yes, there were those that fought a really, really good fight. They ran with the baton and now they passed it to us and we're built to bring it home. And that's what we're going to do, Rick. You know, man, I thank you so much for sharing that information because I'm sure many in our audience didn't understand that this was the 56th year of that legislation. And even though to some young people, 56 years seems like a long time, but in the business space, in the space of history, 56 years really isn't that long. And it just shows you how many great strides we've taken as a community in a really short amount of time. So let's continue to do everything we're doing. Coach Mike, I appreciate you for always waving that flag for the NAR, the HAR, and the HBREA, man. So continue to do what you're doing, brother, because you are definitely promoting a great cause. Amen, brother. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, you know, because, you know, we can't keep you all night on Monday night. <laughs> You know, we've already asked those in the audience that's checking us out live to submit questions and comments and all of that great stuff. And it's a great opportunity for so many people in the real estate sphere to bounce ideas off someone like yourself. My God! So what we're going to do, Coach Mike, is take a look, see what type of questions we have that have been submitted by our audience and see how much people can take advantage of the tutelage and the experience of Mr. CEO, Coach Mike. Hey, man, let us do it, brother. I'm ready to go. Let's check out question number one for the coach. Coach Mike, what factors contribute to the increase in incidents where homeowners lose their properties to squatters? Uh-oh, the squatter question, Coach Mike. Man, you know what, Rick? I mean, that is an amazing question. And, you know, it definitely goes in with one of the uh, pro one of the trainings that we did on last week where it talked about, uh, you know, the, the energy star. Right. And I think the reality of it, Rick, is that as people are building their businesses, they need to align and they need to connect with builders that have a commitment to efficiency, that have a commitment to building a product that will be long lasting and i and i and as a new agent or as any agent when you can provide and bring to the marketplace that kind of a quality then that'll be a direct reflection on what you are as a professional and i think that's what the understanding around the the green criteria and understanding around the green building practices how it can definitely differentiate you in the marketplace and differentiate your brand, knowing that you want to bring that level of echo consciousness to the marketplace and being able to show customers the value that come with that. Because what I think, Rick, uh, and you give me your thoughts as well, I think a lot of people, a lot of consumers don't fully understand the value that come with green building and that echo consciousness what do you think you know i'm glad you asked me coach mike it's something that i go over a lot with a lot of my home buyers especially when we're touring communities and we're walking through um environmentally conscious green builders and green developers i equate it almost like when you get the newest iphone very few cell phone users take the time to read the user's manual <laughs> And so the entire time that we have the phones, we can have them until in our minds, they become antiquated and it's time to upgrade phones. But we never understand how many uses we never took advantage of while we had the home. I think to your point, Coach Mike, the reason it's so important for us as professionals to go over green building practices is so that our homeowners do not suffer from the same lack of institutional knowledge that comes with people who don't read the instruction manual on their cell phones. So I believe that if we own a green home that is built to last 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, that's built to help us see the value in saving money in our energy efficient and utility bills, there's no way that we could truly understand the power 
of the properties that we own. So I urge everyone in our audience, if you are in an Energy Star or Environments for Living or EFL Built Home, take some time. Look at your user's manual. Learn how to take advantage of all the equipment and technology that new homes are being built with at the time of close so that we are actually enjoying the comfort, the safety, and the tranquility of the spaces that we all are investing in. Yeah, no. I mean, Rick, you hit it spot on, Rick. Take full advantage. I mean, you purchased it. Enhance your quality of life because that's what these things are here to do. Yes. And why would you sit on that but you i mean that was an amazing analogy that you came up with because yeah you, it's, it's like getting something and not taking full advantage of what it has to offer because you're not reading the the, the owner's manual to see what all comes with it so it's yeah no no it's a great great analogy man i love it no man I, you know one of the cool things and we talk about this every week is that the great part about being a member of the brooks and davis real estate family are these type of trainings that we touch on and it's not just for the agents that are part of the organization, but affiliates, interns, those that are studying. And the fact that you not only allow people like myself and other trainers to come in and share this information, but it's also the fact that you make that a foundational piece of what it means to be a part of Brooks and Davis real estate firm is something that I hope everyone in the audience can be impressed with. And if you're already a member of the organization, I hope this is something that you're all taking advantage of because it's definitely a game changer, especially as a real estate profession. Well, you know, Rick, we are definitely committed to education. And we see that a lot of our top performing agents, they uh, one of the things that I see in common with them is that they're they're highly committed to education and development and learning. You know, they see the value in that currency that comes from knowledge, that currency that comes from ideas and how they can directly apply it to where it can bring them, you know, that money. So, you know, we're going to continue to be committed to it. You know, it's one of the biggest things that contributes to people changing their lives in this business that we're in. And yeah, it's definitely something we're going to lean in and keep leaning on. Hey, Rick, man, definitely want to shout you out. You know, everybody, you guys uh, check out our YouTube channel. Uh, Rick, actually gave a presentation about this very topic that's going to be on our YouTube channel this week. Um, so make sure you check it out and, and see what all Rick had to share as it related to green building and eco-consciousness. Appreciate that, Coach Mike, man. Uh, the audience is loving everything that we're doing from that standpoint. And there's a second question that we have keyed up for you, Coach Mike, that I think is be really strong provoking. So if you're ready, sir, Let's take a look at question number two. I'm always ready. <laughs> Coach Mike, I believe this is the same question uh, that we just question. answered. It is. Ah, here we go. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is the original question. Coach Mike, what factors contribute to the increase in incidents where homeowners lose their property to squatters? Uh, hey, look, I think it kind of goes in line. <laughs> Rick, I think it kind of goes in line with what I was talking about earlier, education. People learning more about some of these laws that are built into our state property codes, mm -hmm. uh, especially here in the state of Texas, you know, uh, the, uh, squatters rights, statute of limitations, where it allows people to take advantage or to take over a property that has been deemed abandoned um, and, and take, take possession. They call it adverse possession. Of that property uh, and these states it's a state law i mean like it's built in the state code so it's not anything federally that governs any of this mm -hmm. so it, it's all state by state and you know in in theory the the law made sense you know and in in the past you know if, if you know when, when we were an agricultural company i mean i'm sorry we were an, ag an agricultural country Right? before the turn of the century, it made sense to have a law like this. Because if there's a vacant piece of land and nobody's doing anything with it, nobody's farming, nobody's creating produce from this land, well, if a neighbor then begins to work the land, then they they should earn the right to possess it because now it's bringing something of value to the entire community, right? That was the, the origin 
of the law. Uh -huh. But just like with many laws at the state level, it for 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 decades it went unchecked, and uh -huh. then societies evolved and things have changed. And now, hundred years later, people are still using that law that is really outdated, it's right. antiquated, but they're using that law to now take people's <laughs> take people's houses. So, you know, we spoke a little bit about this a couple of weeks ago on one of our other shows where in reality, man, you got to you got to go to your house. You got to check on it. You need to drive by it. So my investors that have these maybe houses, maybe you're in between renters, maybe you're in between the process of fixing it up and it's just sitting there. Listen, you can't you can't go two years without going to check on the house because somebody will move in there. And if they file with the county, it is possible that they could take your house and it ain't nothing you can do about it. Or even if you are able to do something about it, it take you a very, 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 very long time to get it back in your hands. So you got to be careful. The biggest, I think the biggest detriment or deterrent to that happening, Rick, is you need to go check on your houses on a consistent basis to make sure everything is on the up and up. And I'd like to also add, Coach Michael, that's great advice. Let's get involved. Let the neighbors know, especially if you have a home that's on the market for sale. Let's reach out to the neighbors. Let them know that the home will be on the market. For one, they may know someone who would love to submit an offer and purchase the property. But to your point, most importantly, they would know that if they see any funny business or any strangers moving furniture in, they can have the idea that, A, this doesn't look legit. This seems kind of sketchy. They can reach out to you and the authorities in a timely manner so that it isn't a real problem. So yeah. I urge everyone in the audience to heed your advice, add that to their tool belt of real estate game, and pass that down to all the investors and potential buyers. Yeah, man. I mean, and then again, like some of these big corporations that are going, people are talking about how these big hedge funds are coming in and buying up bulks of properties from the bank. You know, that's really where a lot of this is happening, mm. right? Because those are the institutions that are getting properties and they'll sit on them and they'll sit on them for years and not do anything with these properties. Mm. So people move into them and nobody came to come check on it in two years. And by the time Bank of America or one of these other big, like I said, investment companies or hedge funds or whatever realizes it, it's too late. People moved in. I mean, we was working. Another, another area that you see it a lot, Rick, is like estates probate people going through the probate process mm -hmm. administration like that's such a slow process um to where if there's real estate tied to it while they're getting things worked out people they find out about it they hear about it man they can they can do it man i remember years ago now you know obviously we've gotten better as we've grown as an organization as a company but there was a time man we got caught up in that you know we we, we didn't go by the property on a regular basis we were hired by uh, an a, and a state attorney. And, um, you know, this is a house that had been vacant for multiple years. Mm -hmm. And, you know, but we had got it under contract finally and we were about to close, man. And they were going to do the final walkthrough to kind of change the locks out. And somebody had moved into that house, Rick. It, they had got mm -hmm. so old, Rick. They had changed the landscaping. They had the landscaping. They had the lights on. I mean, they had made that house they own. Wow. It killed, it killed everything, man. I mean, it, it, it really made things messed up for everybody but no and i appreciate you for being so transparent and candid as far as some of the um, challenges that you've dealt with as not only a real estate practitioner but also as a real estate broker because right. sometimes as we sit at home and we take in the media via television or our cell phone or websites or TikTok or ig sometimes we can be so disconnected from the front lines that these stories seem almost unbelievable or that wouldn't happen to me, that wouldn't happen to us, that wouldn't happen to our organization. And I thank you because sharing stories like this humanizes this crime for a lot of people. And I think it's gonna put a lot of realtors and real estate professionals on notice that this is something that A, can be a real problem, and B, that we gotta make sure that we're proactive and protecting our clients from dealing with these type of issues. Absolutely, Rick. I mean, it can happen. To, it can happen to anybody, brother. Believe that. You know, um, Coach Mike, the great thing about the Monday Night Live real estate call-in show that I 
so enjoyed putting on with you is that we can touch on these topics, but then also we can share with everyone in the audience about what we have going on this week at Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm. And sort of like we did with Realtors Week, we can let people know everything that's coming up in the real estate community so that if you're a new agent and you've been looking for opportunities to network, shake hands and meet people, this is your show. If you're a current real estate student and you're studying for your license, there's opportunities to interact with us at Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm this week. So Coach Mike, could you share with our audience as far as the calendar of events at Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm, what you, Mr. CEO Coach Mike, will be doing this week? And where can those in our audience meet and greet you if the opportunity presents itself? Nah, look, that's an excellent, excellent plug, Rick. You know, as always, you can always find us on BND TV um, for our digital programming. You know, you've just experienced Monday Night Live. We're here every Monday, seven o'clock. It's myself and, and my and uh, and my co-partner, my co-pilot, Mr. Prime Real Estate Rick. Uh, but then tomorrow, we're going to be doing our Real to Life podcast. I have an amazing guest that's going to be coming on. We do it's a weekly show. We do every Tuesday. We go live at 1230. Uh, I'm going to be diving into the life passions and real estate professionals of a good friend of mine, Miss Rhonda Power. Super excited to have her. She's like one of the best storytellers that I've ever met. So it's going to be a great joy when you hear from Rhonda. So make sure you chime in. If you don't follow us on Facebook, make sure you do it today. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel today so you can get notified when we go live tomorrow at 1230. All right. And then at 230 tomorrow, we're going to be doing our real estate happy hour live. It's another BND TV show. We're go live on Facebook and YouTube with our hosts and special guests. We discuss, we discuss um, real estate industry related topics along with some real estate advice to consumers and realtors. It's real estate professionals talking about randomness. The best part about this show is that the audience has the opportunity to get on the screen with us and share their thoughts. All right. And then Rick, I know you got the Prime Real Estate Network. It's something that we do on Thursdays at 12, man. I'm going to go ahead and let you speak to the people and share with them what you all have coming up for this Thursday. Hey, man. Thank you so much, Coach Mike. I want to invite everyone in the audience to tune in this Thursday at noon central time to the Prime Real Estate Network podcast. It is hosted by myself and the Texas Real Estate King, Mr. Larry W. Brooks. Every week, we introduce our audience to the movers and shakers not only here locally in Houston, but some of the most profound and experienced real estate professionals and entrepreneurs the world over. I want to give a big, huge shout out to everybody over at Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm because as an organization, we've done so much to support the show. And I want to thank everybody for supporting us, getting involved, and sharing everything about Thursdays at noon with the Prime Real Estate Network. And also, I want to invite everyone if you are an aspiring real estate investor, if you want 2024 to be the year that you purchase your first home and you want to become a major player in real estate, reach out to myself, reach out to CEO Coach Mike, and you can also reach out to the Texas Real Estate King because we will be awarding our Prime Real Estate Network Major Player Awards to all those first-time real estate investors, first-time real estate purchasers, and those who are making the commitment to themselves and their family to close the generational wealth gap in America and to become more millionaire minded. So if that's you and that's the message that you want to take in, check out myself and the Texas Real Estate King every Thursday at high noon central time on the Prime Real Estate Network. I love it, man. Y'all want to become a major player, baby. Y'all better holler at Prime Real Estate Rick. <laughs> All right. So look. Also, I want to encourage you all to subscribe to the Houston Real Estate Channel that's powered by Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm, where we explore the vibrant neighborhoods in Texas. Uh, the Houston Real Estate Channel is your comprehensive guide to exploring neighborhoods of Houston, as well as the surrounding areas. You're able to get valuable insights on Houston's real estate market with our diverse range of videos, including in-depth market reports and essential tips for buyers and sellers. Also, we want you to unlock the full potential of your real estate career by becoming a part of our free membership. 
Join our supportive family where you can grow, innovate, and be recognized. Embrace diversity as we reshape real estate with impactful solutions. Make a difference by engaging in local initiatives for a brighter future. Elevate your education beyond transactions and prepare for success, including acing the real estate exam. Enjoy accessibility and easy collaboration within our vibrant real estate community. And I'll echo what I said, which is the best part. It won't cost you a dime. The only investment required is your time. The rest is on the house. So Come get on. ready to soar with us. Join us now. Let's make your real estate journey unforgettable. Two ways, Rick, that you can get involved with the World Changes community. The first one is, if you already have a real estate license, we invite you to explore this opportunity. Take the next step in your journey by visiting the website that is on the screen today. All right. And then the second option is that if you're in the process of obtaining or, or interested in getting your real estate license, you can also discover this exclusive opportunity that's waiting right for you with Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm with our student affiliate membership. Again, visit the link on the screen so you can sign up today. I am so thrilled today to share this incredible opportunity with you, knowing it aligns perfectly with your interests and goals. So join us in shaping the future of real estate. All right, we got some interesting things coming on. Uh, on Thursday, we have our career night. It's our real estate career night where you'll be able to join myself uh, in person at our corporate office or I'll be on Instagram Live. Listen, if your broker won't answer your questions, I'm the broker that's got your back. Holla at me. By participating in this outstanding event, you will be able to ask whatever questions you have to proven industry experts. So that's this Thursday. You'll learn about our one-on-one -on -one coaching, lead opportunities, our three locations, our real estate student affiliate program, multiple conversation options, new agent mentorship program, as well as the things that we're about um, the things, the, the the standards, the tips, the best practices that people are utilizing to win in this career. Like I said before, if you're if you got you got gaps that you need to get closed up, and your broker's not answering the phone, or your office leadership's not answering the phone, and you need to get these answers done, then for one day out of the month, I'm the industry's broker. So come get with me on this Thursday in person at our coaching and training center that's uh, near down near uh, medical center or chime in on Instagram live for this live Q and a. All right. We're also doing our pre home buyer session. Listen, if you're out there in the marketplace, you do not have to give up on your dream of home ownership. Learn about it. Learn how credit and debt impacts the process. Hear about the non-traditional methods and resources that we have access to as a brokerage firm. that that could be perfect for you. And you'll be in, we are going to ensure you that when you walk out of this session, you're going to know exactly your next step to get you on a path to owning a home. So join us this Saturday. You're going to hear some people's stories. You're going to hear some testimonies as well as you're going to get some direct information that's relative to your situation to help you achieve what it is that you want to achieve as it relates to purchasing a home. So that's our pre-home buying session. Make sure that you scan the QR code. You can fill out the information so you can reserve your seat today. Give us 45 minutes and we will take care of you. All right. Stay in the loop with us. Stay in the loop by follow, checking in with us and following us on social media. Follow us on LinkedIn for industry insights. Follow us on Instagram for behind the scenes fun. Hit a, Connect with us on Facebook for lively discussions. And make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for exclusive video content. Join the community, search Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm on each of these platforms and hit the follow or subscribe button. Don't miss out on the latest updates and exciting content. Man, sign up, connect with us. We look forward to seeing you there. That's it, Rick. That's all I got. You know, man, uh, every week, you know, of course, I have some insider opportunities to know about what's going on leading up to this. And it's just always so amazing how so many relevant trainings, so many rele relevant events, so many relevant opportunities there are for agents, students, and affiliates. So if you're in the audience and you fall in any of those three buckets, follow Brooks and Davis on Instagram. Follow CEO Coach Mike. Reach out, DM, call, or email. 
because every one of these events, and I know you just mentioned this, Coach Mike, but I must reiterate, is open to all. We are inclusive, and this is an environment where we trade best practices, where we brainstorm, and, at, and most importantly, we can work through the successes, and we can also work through any challenges together, man, and keep everybody motivated and inspired. So thank you so much for everything that you do, because I do understand for you, it's not just a passion, but also a labor of love making sure you head up this organization. So, Coach Mike, before we sign off this week, do you have any final words or anything for the audience? Because I'm sure they've taken so much from tonight's show, but I want to give you a chance to encapsulate everything in a nutshell for the audience. No, man, you know what, Rick? It's, it's a lot of people out there that they, they you know, they, they don't understand what's best for them as it relates to this real estate space. And there's a lot of partners and there's a lot of collaboration that wants to happen, that needs to happen. Um, and I'm saying, man, just stick with it. Have a heart for it. Be 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 sincere and be honest and wanting to make a difference in people's lives. And, man, let's go out there and let's get it together, man. That's all I got to say, Rick. Oh, no, man, that was great. So I want to thank you so much for your time, Coach Mike. And I want to thank everyone in the audience for checking us out. On behalf of myself, Rick Davis, CEO Coach Mike, Mr. Michael G. Davis. We want to thank everyone in the audience for tuning in. And until next Monday night when we go live, please be safe and be blessed.